middle of fifth grade, we're on domain eight, Native Americans, lesson 12, conflict between Native Americans and the US government. Our objectives are to explain the importance of the Battle of Little Bighorn in history and to draft the third body paragraph in conclusion of our persuasive essay. So we're going to go ahead and independently read the text for today. Our word work for today is reckless. However, he also had a reputation for being reckless, taking big risks with the lives of his soldiers. Reckless means careless or acting without considering the consequences, and it's an adjective. So now we're going to draft our third body paragraph of our persuasive essay. So you should refer to, again, the chosen image you had, the relevant information you've collected, and any notes you've used for your body paragraphs. Also refer to the rubric that we've provided. You're also going to do your conclusion paragraph. Remember, this is to restate our argument and that you, and from the evidence that we provided and goes along with the body paragraphs. So this is the example conclusion that I have used for my own conclusion. The buffalo, an important part of the Great Plains landscape, was important to the Great Plains Native American's way of life. The harsh landscape made it difficult to survive in the Great Plains. By using an important part of nature, the buffalo, Native Americans of the Great Plains adapted to the environment and were able to thrive. I chose this image because it shows how important buffalo and the natural habitat of the Great Plains were in the Native American way of life. Notice how my last sentence is my restate of my argument. The rest of the paragraph provides that evidence. It identifies what all of my body paragraphs talked about, the main point of each of those body paragraphs. So your assessment is to draft your third body paragraph and your conclusion. So you're going to completely finish up your persuasive essay today for your draft. Be sure to refer to your rubric to help you guide your thinking and making sure you hit all these points. That's the end of today's lesson. We will see everyone in the next one.